Hello and welcome to some late model fixed at USA. This is my first time back in the late model ever since K5 Championship Season Zero. I'm hoping that uh, my experience there might have helped me out a little bit in this car. Feels like I've got a lot more uh, experience here. Maybe I can be a little bit better, but that remains to be seen. We are the number three car here today, and uh, hopefully it'll be a good race. These things can get messy, especially on a free track, okay, but well, well, we'll see what happens. Got my brake bias at about like 58 is where I had it. Mm, a little bit low there, wasn't really a big fan of that. Track must be cooler than it was in the practice session or something, because we are definitely a little faster, but not quite fast enough to gain all that many spots, apparently. So we are sixth after the first lap. See if I can not hit the apron this time, maybe get a better lap. It's not looking like it. From a 1-2-9 to a 1-5-2, at least I'm pretty consistent, but consistently slow. <laughs> So, hopefully we'll be the, uh, inside, I guess. Might be a little bit of something to this second lane. Nah, I doubt it. <laughs> Probably gonna want to be on the inside. I don't know. I had hope for a moment. But... Oh, wow, everybody's done already. That was quick. Nice job, everybody. Oops. I was just gonna get the camera ready for later. Angle down a little bit. What do we got? We got P9. E. It can definitely stand to be a little faster. But uh, more important than that is surviving at nearly the same time as the 6. Um, hmm. Not sure. Not sure what I can do differently. I guess the only thing I can do is just uh, try to survive. Hopefully everybody will be reasonable. <laughs> Last lap. Good luck out there. This setup. Alright. 2.7k strength of field isn't so bad. Got race labs up there, given that information. Oh, we are warming tires. Okay. <laughs> Got lots of C-class guys in here. B-class. I'm sticking out a little bit as an A4.9. We got an A2.4 up there. But, <laughs> I mean, you, you figure any short track series regulars, like, they're always going to have beaten and banging, even when they don't deserve safety rating hits. So, can't judge too much based on all that. This guy's going crazy. One left to green. He really wants to warm those tires up, huh? Now we're ready to catch up. Oh nope, we're gonna do some more swerving, hit the apron. Come on, man. <laughs> it's not even really doing much, I guarantee you. Can't tell if I want first gear or second gear. It depends on how much we check up at the start. Try second game. Come on, Weavy, let's go! Oh, wow, we got some serious blockage. Let anyone on my outside, hopefully. Or inside. Make sure I'm holding my line. Clear up top. It might have uh, put that guy a little tighter than I might have wanted. Thankfully, I think he's okay. Five. Whoa. Car outside. Clear up top. 
Where you go? <laughs> okay, guy behind's in the wall even without my help that time, so. Sixth place. Maybe he'll forget the fact that I didn't give him much room, I don't think. <laughs> Alright, I like having a little bit of space. That is absolutely welcome. Here's Weavy. Up ahead, fifth. We've moved forward a little bit. I love it. I think I should be rolling the corners a little bit more. I could probably stand to do that. Saw some smoke, and it looks like we have some slow down on the apron. Have to keep an eye on that. You never know what you're going to get in these short track series. Like someone intentionally wrecking for some payback or something. I've seen a little bit of it all. And probably have still more to see. I, I'm quite sure. Not a great exit there. I should try to be more consistent. If this thing gets tighter, maybe I'll put the brake bias back a little bit. I already have it back a little bit um, from its starting position. But if we get uh, tight on entry, lower it a bit more. It's good to use the tools you have available to you. So far, so good, though. We've avoided anything that has threatened to happen. USA International, a now deceased track. This is the first place I ever raced on iRacing. I'm sure I've mentioned that before in a video I've done here in the past, but um, Street Stocks at USA was the first combo I ever did. And back then, I think it was like 2013, you got Charlotte as in Big Charlotte, in the Rookie Street Stocks, and you had USA. Those were your options <laughs> when I first started. It has grown since then, thankfully, for the newcomers. But I got pretty familiar with USA, thanks to my time there. It was 2013, and then me leaving, and then coming back in 2016 for some more Rookie Street stock. <laughs> I'm still feeling, feeling pretty good. No complaints here. We got, we're holding about a point seven behind. So that's good. Nothing too concerning behind me. I will lose 10 I rating if I finish here in 6th, but I do not care about that. It's just good to know. Another piece of information I can get from Race Labs. But we're a long way from the finish anyway, so I don't need to worry about any of that. Regardless. Okay, Colton. Pretty uh oh. Someone's in the wall hard and blinking or something. That's a yikes. See if anyone gets any damage, or if they were a lap car. I don't even know what. You've just done a twenty-two point four. Kind of sneaking up on the nine here. Maybe he wore his tires on the pace laps. It's very crucial saving tires on the pace laps. What is happening up there? I just saw smoke, and I did not like it. Up high. Oh, that blinking guy. Car looks like he's gonna be nice. Go low, to enter go a little low, lower go. here. There, but he's doing go. the best he can, it looks like, so. Clear up top. I'm cool with him. Didn't lose all too much. I don't even necessarily want to move the brakes back yet. It feels like I'm still getting pretty good rotation. I think any loss of speed we have right now is just normal uh, loss of grip, loss of speed. 
And you can see, like this lap, I'm actually up on the previous lap, so could just be the uh, operator. <laughs> That's me. Either overdriving, underdriving, and just not hitting my marks quite right. So everything's okay with me with no brake bias right now. But I'll keep that in my back pocket in case I need to send it out there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Because I need to play my trap card. You activated my trap card. It's the brake bias. I think I'm doing okay. Keeping the car, uh, keeping the tires happy, just being smooth. Kind of trying to make sure I'm guessing it up. Not too early. Ooh, nine's losing some time to this left guy. I'm losing some time to this lap. Water ground, you're blanking everywhere, bro. Uh, I'll take that to the side. Alright, not too bad. I think that yeah, it is all mostly just, just me not handling that perfectly. <laughs> uh, again, the blinking car giving us a uh, car stopped high. I think that guy's from outside the U.S. I believe I've raced against him before. I don't remember where he's from, but I'm pretty sure he's... ...had, uh, connection issues before in races I've been in with him. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Man, I'm still feeling good. We got uh, our gap behind has widened further. So no pressure there. Not really gaining much on the nine ahead. That's okay. We'll just keep at it. Maybe he'll make a mistake. I can pounce from there. I can drive in a little harder. Kind of worked there. Yeah. Didn't really work there, though. Nothing wrong with a little bit of experimentation, now. Try to find some speed. Alright, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Maybe he's been harder to his tires, and we can catch up to him. But it looks like everybody's doing a little bit of the same of it, <laughs> the same as everybody else. That lap was at 22.5. And got on the throttle pretty hard in these cars. Not very high powered. I uh, am very happy with my purchase of these cars. A while back. I think it's a very good training tool for short track racing, and I really needed it. And it's been some great racing, plus I was able to participate in Season Zero, K5 Championship. And uh, that was some of my favorite racing I've ever had on iRacing. And uh, Season 1, off to uh, start now in the ARCA car. I think that would be pretty good too. Phoenix was pretty good. Myrtle Beach was kind of not. <laughs> was haunted. Let's just say that. So, Knife in the wall. So maybe we are pressuring him a little bit now. We're going to make sure that our intimidating goodwill car is all up in his mirror. That's right. Overdrive the exit. Oh, I thought he was in the wall for sure. He's pushing it, though. Obviously gonna try to get him on exit somewhere. Not diving it in. I'm trying to be a good racer. Trying to be good. Have some etiquette. 
And uh, the actual kind of etiquette, not the kind of etiquette where the guy was yelling at Gavin that one time. About short track etiquette or whatever. And he didn't know, it, have any idea what he was talking about. But uh, using, uh, you know, real polite racing tactics. Cop times are pretty consistent. He's fighting. He's fighting hard. We're real close, but not quite there enough. We might need just a mistake from him to get the nose under. We'll see. Trying to get a little bit of a run on exit. Nothing there, though. That just made me slower. That's all that did. You've just done a 22.7. Keeping it a little lower on the track there. Got me some good mid-corner speed. That felt pretty good. I just, I don't think I'm gonna have a way to get around him without uh, him making a mistake. And I'm not punting someone for fifth. Not something I'm all too interested in. Can we scare him? No, we cannot. <laughs> Yeah, not gonna dive it in on him, but I can make him think I will. Low car up high, car stopped ahead. That is a wreck that doesn't actually exist. Thank you for the heart attack. Blinking car. For drive. <laughs> He's now falling for it. It's like playing peekaboo. I'm gonna pass ya. Here I am. <laughs> Better watch out. All I can do is try to make him make a mistake, like I said. I'm not. There's uh, no way I'm getting around him otherwise. Although, we do have this lab car here. That might make things interesting. Outside. Go low. Outside. Clear. <laughs> he's, uh, he's doing a great job. Handling the pressure. Can make him drive in harder, but it's, he's keeping it low still. He's fearless. Two laps left. White flag. One more left to go. White flag. Last lap. It's nothing. Go on, good race. <laughs> good race, good win. Nice defense, Nine. I had nothing for you. Pieces. No mistakes. Okay, that's the All right, there's a flag. Good run, Tan. Good run. <laughs> nice run. Solid work. Yeah, Mike, good run, man. Thank you for racing me clean. I know there were a few times you could have uh, given me the bumper, and I appreciate that you did good racing with you. That was fun. That was really fun. Roger that, likewise. Look out for the pit speed limit. The pit lane speed limit is 35 miles per hour. So I tried to scare him, but I'm 
No surprise, not all that scary in my Goodwill car. <laughs> but, uh, I'll take P6. It was about 10 I rating, but who gives a care? That was a lot of fun. That was a great race. So we had 83.78. Very happy with that. Uh, car felt great. Felt fine the whole way through. So, um, I went 10 to 1. It didn't matter there. So as long as I made sure to uh, not gas it up too early or, uh, you know, use too much throttle mid corner or anything. So, yeah, it was, it was a great race. Good race to the nine. Like I said to him, he, uh, he was fearless, <laughs> made no mistakes, and uh, gonna be, it's hard to pass if they're not going to make mistakes. You know, at a short track like this, I did my best to give him a fright. <laughs> so, not happening. So, that's kind of loud. Wow, race cars are loud, who knew? So we got a little bit of contact here in lap one. That's always going to be pretty likely. Is this, I want to watch this. I Did I put this guy on the wall? I know it was pretty tight at one point. Okay, I just want to watch the first couple laps, just in case. Okay, I was fine there. I gave him room there. Yeah, I was fine there. I can't remember when it was that I thought I put him in the wall, but no, it looks like we're fine, because it looks like I was clear from there. And then he hit the wall for real, so... Yeah, I think I gave him room. I felt like I was much closer to him than I actually was. It was this corner that I thought that I pinched him too hard. Because I entered a little bit hard. But uh, I kept it down there on exit. And uh, what I saw was him kind of barely touching the wall there. And that's when I was worried that I got into him. Or got too close to him. So good to know that I didn't uh, push him in the wall or anything. The 11 spinning. Probably a little less grip up there in that second lane. You can see the rubber on the track here. Maybe he didn't get much uh, grip on those right side tires. Brought him around. Or maybe he's got too much brake bias to the back. Oh, that stinks. 13 drives in too hard and doesn't hold his line, but they shouldn't, that shouldn't have happened. They should have been fine from here. Like, here they should be fine. Like, 13's got it turned, but then prediction code thinks like, oh, nope, that back end is swinging out farther. And then, there he goes. That sucks. So, 13 made a little mistake there. Shouldn't have caused a spin, but it did. Oh man, and it caused more problems too. Oh my gosh, they were blocking the track for a second there. Thankfully that got sorted out before we came around. Unfortunately the 15 had really nowhere to go there. Whoop. Oh. Yeah, I'll kind of figure it out, looks like. Here we have the four. He's probably going to blink, is probably all we're going to see here. No, actually he slides and touches the wall a bit. I expect we're going to see some blinking from the four, though. Is this it? Yep. So I think he's probably going to blink for about the rest of the race. So we're just going to have to skip by him. I don't think much else happened in the race, because even though we're just getting his blinks, it's happening like four or five laps apart. Here's the leader. River Hayes has 7.3k <laughs> I rating. He is not an uncommon sight to see in first place in these races. So here's the nine. You know, I forgot he was the weavy guy. <laughs> Until now. You know what, maybe I could have passed him if uh, I warmed up my tires. I should have known. The team's gonna get up into the wall. He's made a couple little mistakes this race. Nothing major. Nine, dents the right side a little bit. Nothing really consequential. Already lap 31 here, just getting some more wall hits, some more blinks. 15's gonna go up and hit the wall. There's the aftermath of that. There's a blink. There's, I guess he hit the wall for real, but that's the end of the race anyway. So, all right. Quick little race here in the late model fixed series. We will pull into a P6 as the three. 
I'll take it. Even if I lose I rating, it was a fun race. And uh, kept it clean. And could, just couldn't get around the nine. There are no opportunities. And I'm not going to force an opportunity. Not for fifth place. So fighting for the lead, maybe I rough them up just a tiny bit. I don't know. I don't like doing that either. <laughs> but uh, I don't have to make that decision right now because we were not fighting for the lead. But uh, maybe another day. For now, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. And I hope you have a good one.